Welcome to video number seven of the AdWords Editor video training tutorial course brought to you by ppccampaigngenerator.com. In this video, I want to talk about one of the tools, which is the keyword grouper. So before we start, let me go out to the AdWords keyword tool. I'll just get a few keywords randomly from apparel, clothing category. Let's download these. That way I know nothing about these keywords and you're going to see me try and group them on the fly. So we have our keywords here. We simply copy them. Go to AdWords Editor. Let's create a new campaign. We'll call it campaign number two. And then if we scroll down here, we can create an ad group quickly and go to the keywords tab. Then we select make multiple changes, add update multiple keywords. We can paste our keywords into this text area hit process, hit finish and review changes, keep proposed changes, and what we've done is we've inserted 800 keywords randomly into one ad group called ad group number one. Now our objective here is to group these keywords into logical keyword groupings. To do that we're supposed to go to tools and then keyword grouper and with ad group number one selected we can generate common terms. Over here on the right we have words to ignore when grouping the keywords. For the most part these are stop words like to, the, is, of, for, as, and those kind of words. That way we don't want to create groups called for because it's not descriptive. You'll notice we have T as a potential ad group. I don't think that's a very good idea to create a group called T. There's S, I notice in this list. So what you do is, you, as you refine this ignore these words list, you'll, you'll better be able to generate these common terms over here. But another problem that this keyword tool has is that, see here's in. So in is a really bad group. Because what, what is a group called in? Is that really going to portray or describe the keywords within that group? Probably not. Even one word keyword groupings might be too broad. So one thing you can do is you can select all these keywords, copy them, go to Excel, and we can just paste them here. And you can do a formula, do equals, is number, search, and what we're going to do is search for a blank space within A1. And that formula pretty much says if A1 has a space in the keyword, that means it's two or more words in the group. So let me just illustrate this. Data sort by column B. So you'll notice all these false keywords here, they all have one word in the group. So what we were looking for are two or more word keyword groupings because they're more descriptive. So we can copy these words that say true, go to our keyword text area here, paste them in, hit next, and this will give us two word or more keyword groupings. And it's pretty good when you want to get more granular. Again, this isn't the best way to group keywords using this keyword grouper tool, but it is one way. Another thing I want to show you is what we can do is we can take these keywords here. Let me find and replace the quotation marks. Okay. And I'll quickly show you what PPC Campaign Generator can do. So we have our keywords here remove duplicates. We have 800 key phrases. We can add them to the main keyword list, so they're in here. We can analyze this keyword list, and it will give us the keyword density of our keyword list. So Halloween costumes, wedding dresses, prom dresses. We can create groups out of these by simply selecting them, hitting create groups, and then we would create a campaign and we can group them a lot easier based on the keyword density of this list.
So in my opinion, this is way better for grouping keywords than using AdWords Editor's Keyword Grouper tool. So if we hit finish here, it's going to create groups based on our keyword groupings with words in common. So let's just hit finish, look at the result, and you can see we have our keyword groupings all broke out. So the ad group number one still has keywords in it. This is because it didn't group those keywords at the time we were grouping. But if we go to Tools, Keyword Grouper, and we generate common terms, we can find more keyword groupings, and you'll see these are with one word keyword groups. So they may not be as descriptive, but it is a quick way to group your keywords. We could hit Finish, and now we have 177 keywords left from the initial 800 that we started with. So, all in all, in my opinion, the keyword grouper is okay, but really when you have a huge list of keywords, it can spit out a lot of random garbage in this text area. And it's not exactly the most easiest way to group your keywords. But that's how the tool works, and that's how you use it. So in the next video, I'll talk about the keyword opportunities tool. Thanks for watching.